guys so today we are taking the kids to the fire station just got here and it's super bright outside so sorry I'm like squinting but yeah I hope you guys enjoy this I'm super stoked I've never actually done this in my whole life so this is the first time for me and for Raylan and he's our little fire chief so he's super excited but I'm gonna go ahead and take you guys along with me so give me a thumbs up if you like our vlogs and don't forget to subscribe and I'll see you guys in a second what is he he's showing me where they put the gas in the air nice That's cute all right are you ready let's go it does say the ease for engine you're right about that and then this is a one 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 so this is Correct. engine 111 that's how we name it we should come up with a cool name like chuck or barry or fred huh what would you call it i would call it fire engine well, I think too. we can do that. Yeah. <laughs> Fire engine. Yep. I like it, Raylan. You can put her down if you want. That would be a good name. Yeah. Oh, I love the girls. I never noticed that before. That's cool. Can you get by? This one right here, Raylan. This one's name is Engine 101. We like to keep it really, really simple. 101. <laughs> Look at this one right here. This one is. is Rush truck number one. Oh, you want to see some cool tools? Yeah. So this is just like a jet. Your mom and dad got a, a toolbox at the house. <laughs> yeah? That's basically what this is. This is like a giant toolbox. Wow, look at those, huh? Wow. So this so if there's a car accident and we gotta we gotta cut the car open, you know? Like if there if the car is squished, you always wear your seatbelt. Yeah, that's safe, huh? Good, very and good. So what happens is sometimes when if there's a car accident, the car just gets squished, Ooh, right? Nobody can get out. Then we'll show up and we'll pull these off right here, and we cut them like a scissor. Let me see your arm. It'll be like this. We'll cut that door right off. Can opener for cars. Cut that door right off. And then <laughs> we can pull you out. It. In your car. They can't open car seat, no. You wear a car seat. Yeah. Do you use a car seat? You sit in a car seat. Mm -hmm. Very high five. That's awesome. We always wear our car seats, right? Uh -huh. yeah. yeah. So the statistics show that uh, car seats do save lives, right? Yeah. Seat belts save lives. Anytime you're ejected from the vehicle, your chance of survivability uh, dramatically decreases to, you know, like by 90%. It's, it's just, you just don't survive an ejection. Yeah. And also, just so you know, that anytime that there's loose objects in the car, those are basically projectiles in the vehicle. So try huh. to store things. Mm -hmm. I know we tend to, you know, put some things down and around, you know, I'm just as bad yeah. as anybody, but try to put them in the trunk. <laughs> right. Or try to put them kind of in something behind everything, because getting a car out, those things go flying. It's really bad. What is it for? Yeah, those are a bunch of lights up there. And this one here, look at this, what do you think this does? Mm. Does that cut seatbelts? It could, yeah, it could probably cut some seatbelts. It, it's mainly used for tin, you know, sheet metal in your car. If I had to get through a roof, do you use scissors at home? Yeah, no. it's like a giant. No. It's like a giant, uh, giant scissor. He's like a drill. That's pretty cool, huh? What do you think? Let's open this right here. So see these right here? These are called rescue jacks. And basically, if there's a car upside down or something, we pull these jacks out, use those straps, and secure that car so it's not going to move and squish anybody. That's pretty good, huh? I got a question for you. Do you know what this is, Raylan? By chance? You know what that is? It is. It's a, it's a fire detector. Right. Good. Excellent yeah. answer. Excellent answer. <laughs> so this is probably the most important thing we want to talk about for just a minute. Okay. So here's the thing: is that when you go to sleep, are your eyes open or are they closed? They're closed. They're, but they're, but they're closed, but right? They're open until I get tired. And then when you're tired, they're closed, right? Uh -huh. So you know what the job of a smoke detector is? A smoke detector is to watch over your family when you're asleep and you can't smell smoke. And so a smoke detector it sits up in your ceiling of your house and it's going like this. And it's sniffing for smoke all the time. Smoke detector is like the most important piece of safety equipment in your whole house. But when you guys go home today, I need you to do one really important thing. I need you to walk through your house and I want you to count how many smoke detectors you have in your house. Okay. We have six. We probably nice have more than work, that. That's okay. <laughs> what we want to do is we want to make sure that we make sure they work and we push the button and make sure they work. And when you're asleep at night, 
If you're outside and your house is on fire and you're, you're at your place called your meeting place and there's something we want to talk with your mom and dad about, house is on fire and we can say, oh, there's one, two, three, four people outside, everybody is out of the house, then that means we don't have to put ourselves in as much danger because we don't have to go in and look for you if we know you're outside. So this piece of equipment in a meeting place outside your home is the most important thing we want to talk about. So, yeah, we do need so to that's some that homework happen. as well. So yeah. family needs to do a fire drill. They need to do one during the day and one at meeting night. Place. Okay. You need to have two ways out. Mm -hmm. So what's two ways out of your room? Uh, I, only, I only have one way. How do you do that? Just go out my door. Yeah, out your door. What about a window? Could you get out a window? Mm, so maybe we could work on that, okay? Yeah. So you should have two ways out of your house. It could be a front door, back door, window, doorway. Door well. Mike said, when you get outside, you gotta get to your meeting place. That's very crucial. So that we have one spot to go to with your whole family. And then tell me this, Ray. Do you ever go back inside the house? Uh, no. Do you go back in for your canine friend? Her name is Canine Hilton. No. <laughs> what, what about your little baby sister? Do you go back in for your baby sister? No. No, no, huh? And what, what about your favorite Don't toys? Do you go in for your favorite yeah. toys? No. No, no never go back in because we have the right equipment. So when you get outside and you're in your meeting spot and you notice mom is not at the meeting spot, you stay there when we show up, like Michael said. You say, my mom is not here. She should be. And we'll say, great, Raylan. Where was she last? And you say, what? She was probably in bed, huh? And then we would go in and find them. Most people have never been in a fire engine. Wow. Yeah. I didn't say cheese. cheese. What, Mom? Say fire truck. Say fire, fire truck. Fire truck. Come out this way, buddy. Okay. Oh, I don't know, but this let, is a let him help you. There you go. It's really. We actually have had a, guys get hurt falling out of this room. <laughs> wow. Cool stuff. You want to sit in the oxygen oh, seat? Here you go. Oh, yeah. nice. Wow. There you go. Tells us where to go and how to do it and what, we, what our jobs are and our right. jobs. That's pretty cool, huh? He's the boss. Those are all his tools. That's yeah, great. There's that's, a light there. There's a heat gun right there. This is a computer with the whole city and everything up on it. Hybrids and free plans and all the house, those little red dots. Put the little guy here. Woo! You want to get a picture, buddy? That is so cool. Right here. Can I sit right here next All right. To you? All right. Well, bud, do you want to say thank you? All right, guys. Well, we just got done. The tour was short and sweet. We've never been before, like I was saying, so they kind of kept the information to a minimum. What all did you learn? I learned about fire. And? And fire detector. I got to sit on the fire truck. Go ahead and give us a thumbs up if you guys enjoyed this. Thanks for watching. Have a good day. Bye.